Hey guys, so I'm going to invite a few people on and then I will get started on my skull tutorial. So give me just a second. Okay, so I already put on my primer. It's the Mineral Infused Face Primer by e.l.f. I kind of let it absorb into my skin for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my foundation. I'm going to use my linen, which is right here. It's actually not that much lighter than my actual skin tone. Um, but with the shadowing and everything, it will make it look a lot whiter. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. And it's extremely white. <laughs> And I'm just using this as my base. I'm also going to put it on my eyelids. This light is so bright today. I kind of trying to figure out which lighting kind of works best in my house for videos. And Chris got these like, I think daylight. Hey, Veronica. So Chris got these like daylight bulbs for our kitchen and they're like super bright. So I think the lighting is pretty good today. So I'm just going to hopefully just so obnoxious. All right. And I live where I don't have cell phone service, so I can't even like get off of Wi Fi and get onto data because that's not available here. And there's no one else here like using Wi Fi, so I don't know why it always does that. Anyway, so here I am, super white ghost, like white it out, white it out. All right, so got that done. Next, I'm gonna take my contour brush and I'm gonna use shadow, which is this like gray color right here. I'm gonna use the small end of my brush. And so for this, I want to make sure I, my cheekbones kind of pop out and uh, I want it to kind of look gaunt. So I'm gonna go right under, hey Heather, right under my cheekbone so you can just kind of feel to see where that is and you want to go right under it and I want them to kind of be even so I'm going to use my mirror actually okay so I'm going to take that all the way up into my hairline then all the way down until about right here about like two fingers away from my mouth I'm going to start brushing that down I want my line to be pretty straight. Okay, then I'm gonna take it down and then I want to still make sure that you can feel my jaw right here. So I just wanna put it right into that area, right there. Hey, so I want about a finger space down. I want to kind of blend that out. So I'm gonna blend it into my hairline so it's softer. And then um, doing the skull is a lot about transition shades and kind of blending. So I'm going to add some more colors to this to darken and lighten it up. So I'm going to blend this down. I think there's like a hair in my eye. My hair is crazy. Okay. So I'm just going to blend this out. Even this out a little. And you just want it to look like um, shadows because whenever there's a skull, you don't really have this there. So, all right, so I'm gonna take that same contour and put it onto my forehead, right into my hairline, and then slightly down to connect here. And I'm gonna use this brush just to blend it up towards my hairline. Kind of soften that out. Then I'm gonna take the, drop my brush. So I'm gonna take the same thing and contour it right under my jaw. 
all the way over and around and then just blend that down. Okay, then I'm going to take the smaller end and I'm just kind of making an outline for where I want to do my nose and then I will darken it with black. So I'm gonna make sure I get the biggest part of my nose covered. Hey Tara. So I wanna make sure I get all the way down here. And then I'll go ahead and do the lines. This is just like my base for where I wanna put everything. So I'm gonna be using this contour color everywhere, basically, that I want to have the darkened shadows. So I'm putting this over my entire eyelid and right underneath and you can see where it's kind of gray like a shadow and then I'll play around with some other colors. Just the light is so bright. Okay, there's definitely here one second I can like feel and my hair is like just right in my eye oh well okay so I got the base of that kind of where I want to have that set so I'm gonna use one of these like cheap brushes that Harmony plays with oh, got it okay and I'm gonna fill that in a little more so I'm gonna use my Tarte Pro Glow kit I'm going to use this powder um, contour to kind of create some more shadows on that. I don't know how well this brush does with this. I'm just going to sweep that right over just to darken that. I plugged in my light, so hopefully I have good lighting the whole time. So I'm just going to put that exactly where... I put the um, powder, I mean cream. And just blend that right into my hairline. Let's see. I'd have to turn this light down. It's like intense. And just darken under here to where it's kind of like a floating head. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill, actually I'm gonna set my um, highlight colors, my foundation with powder. I'm gonna use my translucent today so it can really be super white. All right, so I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun. And I want a lot of this because I want this to be, really be white. And since I'm using like the dark eyeshadow colors, I don't want to have this run everywhere. So I'm going to put this right above where I put the contour. I'm not worried about it too much under my eyes. So I'm going to be darkening that as well. So I'm just going to put this right above and right below. So I don't want to lose that. Um, white area right here. And I need a lot more of this powder. There we go. Okay. So I'm just using my perfector sponge and I'm going to just place all of this right along that area and right on my forehead. So I want to make sure that actually stands out. Just let me put this over here. I'm going to let that sit there while I'm um, doing my shadows. So I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use this. Where's the brush that I want to use? This brush. Okay. So I'm going to use this brush. It's like a super stiff brush, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start by using some of this color here it's like a dark brown and I'm going to start placing that 
right where I want the darkest part of it to be. Right there. Just to really chisel everything out. And take it right into the hairline. Like so. And then I'm going to take that same color and put it under my eyes. And right into my crease. And I will um, like blend everything out later on. But I just want to place this here. right into my crease and then right above. And then right below. Hey Amanda. I, have to, I like when I'm doing these, I like get super focused and don't talk a lot. So if you guys want to talk, um, for it. <laughs> I'm just usually super concentrated while I'm doing this so I because I want to make sure it like turns out right. All right so I'm going to take a lighter color and I'm going to use what brush do I want to use? So I'm going to use this a little it's a little bit smaller of a brush and I'm going to use a color that's a little lighter. So I'm going to use this color right here and take that right below it. And then I'm going to blend them together. And I, last time I did this, I didn't really do all of this, but I knew it wouldn't show up on camera if I didn't do something a little more intense. So I'm going to take that color, put it right into here, and kind of chisel this out. Hey, Amber. And kind of make it into a circle here. Hey Sandy. And I want this to be a little bit thicker. All right, so next I'm gonna take my, what do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this brush and kind of, I love Halloween makeup. I use latex. Oh, I used latex last year to do like a melted Barbie. It was really fun. I'm just bl um, slowly blending this just so you can see that darker line there. And blending that together. I need, where did I put that makeup? There it is. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. I'm just kind of blending this together. So it's really out there, okay. Hey Cassie. Uh, yeah, I love Halloween makeup, so it's really fun. All right, I need to blend some of this eyeshadow because it's driving me a little crazy. All right, so I'm gonna start blending my eyeshadow just to soften it up. You don't want it to be super harsh. This light is like blinding. Okay, so I need a little bit more of this color in here. I'm going to bring a little bit more of that same color under the eyes. Even below where I would normally put my eyeshadow because you want that hollow. And I'll just gradually build up um, to darker colors. So let me, I need a small mirror to see. All right, so I'm going to blend these out and up, and it's okay to cover like the whole eye with it. Just blending that out and under. 
And I still have my powder kind of baking on my face just to catch any of that fallout that I would get. And I'm also gonna take that same color. No, I'm gonna take this color here, right here. And I'm going to kind of drag that up. You'll see. Drag this up from something in my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna drag that up from the inner corner here, up. I think I had a little bit too much of that color. Okay, and just drag it up here. And fan it up like that. Then just kind of soften it at the top. and bring it into here. Just blend it in with that. Nope, wrong color. All right, same color. Blend that into there. Okay. There we go. All right, next I'm going to to blend that in a little. So I'm gonna take like a, let me find an ashy, actually I'm gonna use that um, powder contour from my Tarte palette. I'm gonna take this same brush and then just drag this down. I'm trying to be sneaky and watch while I'm at work, the usual. All right, and kind of contour that area there and then I'll, it'll all blend together. What color did I use? Oh no, I used this. Whew. Okay. Just bring that down and kind of blend that into under the eyes. Okay. I'm gonna blend that a little bit more with my brush here. Just blend that down. And I'm going to add some black. Yeah. So I need my Jaclyn Hill palette again. And I think I'm going to use this color here first. It's a little bit lighter of a black than that one on the end. Hey, Clarissa. And I'm just going to lightly glaze, graze this here. I didn't use this last time, so I want to. See, I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. So, okay, just to get some of that red tone out, lightly dust it on there, and then just blend it. It's really deep, deep in that. Hey, Stephanie. There we go. Really darken that out. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this color right along my hairline. Nothing like in, in particular, just right along the hairline because I'm washing my hair tonight anyways. So that's why I chose to do this one. And that kind of just like makes my face and my hair kind of disappear. So just blend. My kids are gonna be so freaked out. When I did my trial run, it was at night too, so they hated it. Just blending this into my hairline. So you can't see my white scalp. This one's like super detailed, but I'm trying not to make it super complicated. The teeth are probably like the hardest. Let me. Take 
this. Okay. Just blend it into mascara. Hey, Christina. And maybe just a little more. Because my head's super white. See, and it's just kind of like disappearing. And I want to kind of round this off so it's not so harsh of a line. I'm going to just like blend this down a little. All the way around. So you can't just see a straight line. Just blend it a little outwards. There we go. I'm actually going to put this under my... neck here. Yeah. I also just talk to myself a lot, so don't mind that. I kind of want my chin underneath to disappear. So I'm just going to bring this down, I guess, a lot. There we go. I want to kind of make sure this is even along my jawline. Okay. So now I'm going to take that same color and start using that on my eyes. And I'm going to start by placing it on my lid. I'm going to use the smaller side of my brush. And just start packing. I don't want to use that brush. I want to use. I'm going to use just this little brush here so I can really pack it on. And I'm just concentrating this on the lid and right into the corner, into the, yeah, into the um, crease. I don't really want to get it above the crease. So I want to make sure I get very close to my lash line so there aren't any um, white spaces. And it kind of looks crazy until you, like, as we go along in the process. Okay. And then I'll blend it in a minute. I'm going to use the same thing. This is a very fine tip. So I'm going to use that to line, my lower lash line, and kind of smudge it out, like so. And this isn't a true black, I'm not sure exactly what color it would be, but it's the second one from the right in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I wanna make sure I get that rounded off so that it blends down into here. I like that. Okay, so now I need to kind of blend this in a little bit. So I need my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use, um, this color right here, just so I can get, I don't want all of that black to get like everywhere. I'm just using that lighter color to help transition that into the darker colors that I already have. I mean the lighter colors into the black without taking away all of that transitioning. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm just doing windshield wiper motions to blend that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not really focusing on the lid, mostly just the crease. So I'm gonna darken up the center of the lid. And here's that so far. I want this to be what I wanna do. I need this to be more gray. So, do I have 
Yeah, this is kind of a gray, I guess. Okay, so let me see. I need to find a color to kind of darken this up. Okay, so I have this glittery, what is this? I have this glittery black. It's in my um, Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This one, I'm gonna see what this one does. I haven't used it yet. Let's see. Okay, I think this will work for what I want it to do. Okay. I'm gonna take this a little bit lower. I wanna see how this shows up with this brush. Mm, okay, no, we're not gonna use that. Change of plans. Let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my Trust eyeshadow which is right here. And just kind of blend that out to make that a little bit darker around the hollow. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fluffy side of my brush and really, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just sweep this under where I put the black. It's all about like dimensions and shadows Okay, there we go. Really dark on that. There we go. The, oh, wrong color. I have to tr use the dark color, not the light. that a little bit lower down. I'm going to take this same color into my eyebrows because I want to kind of camouflage those in there and then use this right up here, round that off. You can still see the reds. No one important. Okay, so there's that so far. And I want to kind of tone this down a little because it's like super red. Darken that up a little bit. There's that. Okay, I have this picture I was kind of looking at. So. All right, and then I can brush this powder off now. I've had it on here for a long time. Okay, so next I want to, okay, I don't want that. I want Pinterest, all right. So I'm going to do the nose. I kind of outlined that a little bit with my um, contour, but I really want to darken that with my black pencil and kind of get the line that I want. So I'm just using this um, Julep Gel Eye Glider. I have so much stuff out. Okay. So I'm just going to get a base idea. For where I want this. Just like that. And you want to make sure you get the tip of your nose too, not just on the tip but under it as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just going to go over with eyeshadow. So for that, let me just move all of that stuff out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm not even going to use mascara, I don't think, because I don't really need to. Okay. So I'm going to take the um, black one right here in the corner with, I have a thousand brushes here. Which one do I want to use? This flat one here. Okay. So I'm going to use this flat brush here. 
and take the black very lightly and put that right onto the center. and cover that whole area that I just outlined. I'm just pressing that on because I did use a cream foundation, so it's a good base for the powders to stick to. I want to make sure I really get into the area that I lined so there aren't any white spaces. Let me use my little mirror so I can make sure I get really up into this line and smudge it out. like so. I want to make sure I don't get out of that too much, but it's okay if it's a little messy. You want to make sure you have like a tip on those points there. I do have one a little higher than the other intentionally. I want to make sure this is a little more rounded. So there's that. I'm going to use the same brush with the black and tight line, not tight line because I'm not doing my actual waterline, but really tightly get this into underneath my eye, like so. There's a fly. Okay, so I'm going to go right. I think, one second, I think my tablet is picking up on me talking. I'm going to turn that off. It, it, whatever your Amazon Fire tablet does when you ask it questions, that's what it's doing. I don't even know what word it picked up. Something Greek. But, oh, got that in my eye. Tight line that a little bit. And then just get that right on my lash line. Nothing perfect, just getting it right there. Do the same thing on this side. Like so. I'm just going to take this and draw little lines just to kind of give that a little bit of dimension. And one right there. Okay. No, I don't want to touch that. Okay. So next I'm actually going to do my mouth, the teeth. And I'm going to use this little pencil, this little pencil brush. I've dropped so many brushes. My hair is absurd. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start with brown, not black, just to get kind of a base. I'm going to use this color right here. Okay. And start outlining where I want my little teeth to go. If you're watching, say hi. I put chapstick on, why did I do that? Let me just wipe that off. Don't want chapstick. 
and I need to use that white foundation that I put everywhere else. So let me just do that real quick. I'm like running out of room on this corner here. Okay, so let me just put that there for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna use linen like I did on all over my face and just put that on my lips. So I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, so there we go. No wonder something just looked off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with that little pencil brush and that um, medium brown and start outlining where I'm going to have my teeth. So right down the center. And I'm going to go ahead and make my line. Just blend that into that shadow I already have. Try to make this even. At least somewhat even. Okay. And just take drag that a little up and a little bit down I'm trying to make sure they line up pretty well And one more. And then I'll clean them up once I have my outline drawn. I'm going to try to do the same amount on the other side. Obviously, I can't talk while I'm doing this. What do you guys think so far? My hair keeps hitting my neck. I keep feeling like there's a fly there and it's driving me crazy. Okay, it's about even. Okay, so now I'm kind of making, okay, so I want this to kind of be pointed like a, like a tooth, 
So I'm kind of making like Hershey Kiss shapes, if that makes sense. Hey, Addy. I think you messaged me, but I didn't see it because I was doing this video. Um, so anyways, I want the teeth to kind of look like Hershey Kisses and like kind of come to a point. So I'm just using this brown to gradually make these come up to a point, which you can see there. Just like that. This is super time consuming, so sorry. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. And I'm just kind of making this a little bit straight as I go. And blending this last little piece up into where I did the jaw contour. So, sorry if this is going to take a little bit longer. Okay. And I'm just feathering this out here, trying to get that to blend as I go. I'm just trying to blend that so I don't forget to as I go. Okay. So I'm just kind of making little triangles. Let's make it look like it would in the root. I'm just using a medium brown for this. I'll touch it up with some black later. I actually wasn't planning on being this intricate. Okay, I'm making progress. This just takes so long. For the fine details. just turn my tablet off since I'm not actually looking at my inspiration picture. That way I don't keep getting messages. Okay. So I'm going to stun over here. And it's actually kind of even so. That's good. Okay, so where 
right about here. It's just going to be a small little two up top. Okay, so now I just need to go ahead and fill in in between these areas. And I want to blend this. Into there. So I need to use this eyeshadow brush. Actually, I don't remember what I had on that eyeshadow brush. What did I use? My contour brush. So I'm going to use this just to soften this up and blend it together. I'm just kind of softening this around the edges so it's not so blunt. Okay. It's hard to see what I'm doing, so I'm going to use this smaller side for this side. So I don't want to smear any of that. Okay, so next I'm going to take this little black. Where is, that's not the right one. I have a thousand. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to take this little tiny pencil brush. And I'm going to use that black, like the true black color on the end and fill this in just a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension.
And again, sorry I can't really talk much while I'm doing my actual lips. And I'm just kind of giving this a little bit of dimension. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and now that that's done, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna take this Glitterazzi from Hard Candy. It's a liquid sparkler. And actually, I'm actually gonna do that like last because I don't want it to smear because it's wet. So I'm going to take my um, NYX um, Illuminator. It is in the shade Ritualistic and it's kind of like a silver. So I'm gonna take that with a fan brush here and highlight right right up above. I don't even know if you can see because this light is so blinding. Yeah, okay, so this is just flat white. This has the highlighter and it'll really make that appear white in person and whenever I take my pictures for this. Actually, that is taking too long gonna take this big fluffy brush and just tap it on because I'm kind of setting it with this like I would with powder because I want that part to pop so and like I said these are just like some inexpensive brushes my sister gave them to me and my grandma got them for her so they're probably from like Walmart so they're not great but for Halloween and for Harmony and Maddie to play with them. They're great. So I just don't want to get too much stuff on my daily makeup brushes because they're a little expensive. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to take this smaller brush. I'm really these brushes are so bad. Okay, so really pack that on. Now you can see it's like glowing. And that'll help with the dimension. Just literally putting this everywhere that I want to look white. going to drag this down just a little. Clean that up a little. Okay. All right, so I think, I think I'm gonna add some mascara before I finish my lips because that's all I really have left to do. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Great Lash and put that on my upper and lower lashes. I don't want them I don't want them to stand out a lot. I just want them to actually be black. Okay, and I'm going to use actually some liner. Yes. Use my gel liner. And use that right on my waterline. I need to zoom in on to my mirror here. Okay. 
just to get rid of any of that extra white space. Like so. Okay. Oh, I need this mirror here. All right, so I'm going to, I got that powder everywhere. I want to wipe that off of my nose. Okay, so. Well, oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this Glitterazzi glitter. And I'm going to use it for just my teeth to make them pop. I don't want to use this because I don't want this wand to get really gross. Mm, what am I going to do? Okay, so I'm just going to put a bunch of this on my hand so I can work with it off of my hand as to not get black in it for when I want to use it next time. So I'm just going to use my hand as like a swatching. I'm just going to get a whole lot of that on there. And it's like super white and pearlescent. Okay, so I need just a small flat brush that can be a little precise. Okay, so I'm just going to take this little flat brush and put it on my teeth. Yes, okay. And this is going to take a little bit of time. So I have about 20 minutes until the kids get off the bus, so I am hoping this doesn't take that long, but these teeth are like taking so long. I just swirled a bunch of air in that. I know you're not supposed to do that. And I did it. Okay. Okay, so I really like this. This feels super weird on my lips though, as it's drying. Okay. I'm not putting this on perfectly. Just enough to make it where it pops.
I'm trying not to get it on the brown on the outline. Up close and personal here. Okay. Yeah, that really makes that pop. Feels super weird though. All right, this fly is driving me crazy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more contour to my cheeks. Let's see. Just to feather that out a little. Soften that up a little. Hey, Allison. Allie. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't love this area. I don't know if it just needs softened. Maybe I'll take it down a little lower. That's it, I think. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Bye.